Hi everyone, it's Rena Jadav and we are back to talking about how to beat cancer with Dr. Lee Erin Keneally. Hi, Dr. C. Hi, Rena again, great to see you. Good to see you, good to have you here with us. Thank you so much for making time. So I hear that cancer potentially is a disease that, that we get because of a low immune system. Is that true? And if so, what can we do to boost our immunity on a day-by-day -day basis? Well, our immune system, yes, is at the heart of really all diseases. Cancer, heart disease, autoimmune disease, even a cold. People don't realize that even a cold has an emotional component. So uh, in an immune component and an emotional component. So I would say the single most significant thing is stress. Oh. Stress and, and chronic unresolved emotional conflicts or shock. So that's why I always make it mandatory that we have emotional conflict resolution. Now, what does that look like? I tell people that can be one, you just addressing that you have an issue. I think just telling the doctor, look, you know what? I've been caring for my mother for the past five years and it's been very hard on me and a very serious drain. You know, just some kind of confession a lot of times works. Then, um, but emotional work, whether you see a counselor, whether you do, we like we talked about earlier about eBox that we use That's here, nice. that because it's very rapid, you can go online and do EFT, emotional freedom technique. The other thing is tapping. So because I we, we want to always give the patients things for self care management. It's very important that because we're not home with our patients every day, so we've got to give them tools for them to self care, have the best self care they can have. So. I believe that the first and foremost, I would say, I mean, it's at the very, very top of the list and everything else is really low down. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be honest. I would say if you are, if you get your stress under control and you eat like crap, you probably be okay, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I, I think stress is the biggest killer for all of us. And we've got to work on it. Unfortunately, we're, it's not just our own personal stress that we're dealing with. It's the stress that's all around us every single day, unfortunately. It's on television, it's on social media. I mean, you can't look, watch, listen to anything without raising your stress level. Exactly. Whether it's children dying in a high, you know, in a school shooting or, or something else that, you know, every day I look at news and I go, why do I, why did I open this news? <laughs> right. Well, you're right. Exactly. So yeah. it's not, yeah. So it's not only our own personal stress, it's the stress that's we're bombarded. So that's indirectly affecting us. Even if we don't watch it, it's indirectly because it's, it's a basic unrest and instability of our planet and the world. So if we all would practice peacefulness, and lovingness yeah. and compassionness, then the world would be a better place. So it all starts with how we practice, what we practice. If we practice anxiety, we're gonna get an anxious result. If you practice love, you're gonna get a loving result. So that's the first thing. Now, the other things that really matter is sleep. Like you can't have a good immune system if you don't sleep. And I would say about 50% of the population doesn't sleep well. So we need to be sleeping in a peaceful sleep sanctuary for eight hours a night, going to bed about 10 o'clock, honoring the rhythm of our body. So 10 o'clock p.m. is about to be the bedtime and 6 a.m. is about the wake up time because we have to honor the circadian rhythm of our body with our hormones, our digestion, the, the, the moon, the stars, the sun, etc. Now, the other thing we talked about eating again, eating foods that are going to optimize our, nutri our nutritional. So that's obviously fruits and veggies are going to make our immune system happy. So obviously like kiwis have a high value of vitamin C, lemons and limes have high value of vitamin C. So we eat things that are going to optimize and help our, our nutritional status. So we have to eat our foods. We can't take supplements for everything. Right. Now, there are some targeted supplements like mushrooms that tremendously help the immune system. So we may, we may give people because they've been so downtrodden for such a long time that we may have to give the patients. Because if you're over 40 years of age, you are experiencing something called immune senescence. 
senescence is means the old the the basically your immune system is aging oh so we have senescence of everything from our hair to our skin to our heart our liver kidney so our whole goal is to to optimize our entire body and mind to be the best it can be with whatever if it's detox and nutrients the way you think just the way you think reflects you know, the wrinkles on your face. If you're a frowner, then you use a lot more muscles than someone who smiles. And so, so we, we need to, you know, try to put on a happy face all the time. If you really don't feel good, tell people you feel awesome. Tell them you feel great because you're programming your cells every single minute of every single day. I, when I don't feel good, I never tell anybody I don't feel I Oh, I feel fabulous. I just feel perfect. And I get in the mirror and I go, oh, I'm so glad I'm 35. Yeah. So, so because you're what you're te- you're whatever you're saying, whatever your belief system is, is yeah. how you become. Absolutely. And then exercise, exercise is great for your immune system. Okay, it supercharges your immune system on so many levels. People don't really realize that. And we are we are the society of immobility that we have. I can't emphasize this enough. I find this is the hardest thing in 31 years is to get people to move, move, move. It's a impossible task. Or even stay home. Just what? Stay, don't sit the whole time. Just stay yes, home. exactly. So if you want to talk to someone, don't email them. Go talk to them. We have a paging system, email system. I never use it. I go talk to the person. I go walk and talk to the person because human connection is, is way better anyway. So and you get your you get it. You it's more succinct the connection when you do that. Um, now detoxification detoxification also when you get the bad junk out your body just works well the cells communicate way better and you know if you have chemicals they interfere with any biochemical reactions that's supposed to be taking place in your body so it's very important Uh, i'm writing an article on how chemicals are causing diabetes so a lot of the illnesses we have today is because of chemical extreme chemical toxicity So, so we've got to do some kind of detox, drink plenty of water. The solution to pollution is dilution. Mm -hmm. So drink plenty of purified water. And I said before that fasting, if you don't, can't afford to do any detox procedures, fast and your body will detox and repair itself very, very quickly. And, and we know that fasting helps the immune system because USC did a paper on if you did chemotherapy and if you fast the day before and the day of your side effects and your recovery is significantly better. That's so, right. you know, so people don't, don't have to spend money on everything. As I said, there's supplements. One of the best supplements you can take that's the least expensive is vitamin D everything, at least 5,000 units every day. Say fasting, Dr. C, how many hours do I have to not eat? What is the minimum number for it to count as a fast? Because I've heard everything from eight hours to 10 hours to 20 hours. So where, where's the happy medium? Uh, well, fasting can fasting can be one day. It can be like don't eat dinner, and or let's say let's have just say a pure vegetable pureed soup because if you eat pureed soup, your body doesn't have to do very much to absorb it. Doesn't take a lot of energy, right? So let's say you just you have a good breakfast and you have a moderate lunch, and you have soup for dinner or a green drink for dinner. Let's say, so that would be kind of a modified fast, right? So you could do that because that your body goes in intense repair and rejuvenation at nighttime. Okay. So that would be, now the other thing is you can fast one day a week. Uh, you can, I have patients that I have them fast 21 days and I have them do green drinks or bone marrow broth or a combination thereof. I have patients fast for the 10 days for the master cleanse. Okay. So, uh, so I have all different things. I decide on their fast personally on based upon their diagnosis okay. and their budget. Dr. C, thank you so much for sharing that great information. Um, if you are looking at preventing cancer, beating cancer, check out the Beat Cancer Bootcamp. If you have any questions, ping us, let us know. Hope you're learning so much. I know I am. Dr. C, thank you. You're welcome.